ultimately lead to some really serious problems down the road. So what do you do? Well, first of all, we've got to understand the skin. For the most part, the skin maintains its moisture via two properties, two major properties. One is a protein hardness that uh, acts as a kind of surface barrier. A lot of that is, is formed from the protein cysteine and other proteins. I'll tell you about those in a minute. And then the second part of uh, the second compartment of the skin that maintains its moisture balance are fats. So it's this combination of fats and proteins that keeps the skin moist. If you have dry skin, you either have a problem metabolizing or digesting or processing fats and protein, or you have a problem with the intake of fats and protein or a combination thereof. So first, as with all health issues, you want to focus on absorption and processing of foods and nutrients. You say he's on the mighty 90, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's absorbing or processing. Look for digestive problems. Always first thing, look for bowel movement issues, constipation, loose stools, diarrhea, cramping, bloating, heartburn, gas. You know, we talk about these all the time, Rose. You know what I'm talking about. Focus on foods that cause those problems. If you notice that fatty foods cause those problems, then you probably have a fat metabolism issue issue. If you notice that protein foods cause that problem, then you may have a protein metabolism issue, and both of those can lead to dry skin. Use digestive enzymes, probiotics, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, the Ultimate Enzymes, apple cider vinegar after meals. Make sure as your, as your boy is taking in fatty nutrients, essential fatty acids are especially important for keeping the skin soft and moist. Uh, same with vitamin A, uh, and vitamin E for that matter. Uh, as he's taking in his fatty nutrients, make Make sure he takes his vitamin A, his ultimate EFAs, his vitamin E, 400 international units a day with fatty foods, with some apple cider vinegar, with the BioLumin Nightly Essence, and it wouldn't hurt him to throw in a little bit of extra bile salts and maybe some pancreatin and perhaps some lecithin as well. All of these can help the body process and utilize fats. Make sure he's using his fats, his vitamin A and his essential fatty acids in a kind of divided dose fashion. So maybe 10,000 international units of vitamin A a day in the morning, another 10,000 at night, uh, three essential fatty acids, three of the ultimate EFAs in the morning, three in the uh, afternoon, three at night with each meal, each time taking them with digestive enzymes and each time taking them with bile salts and lecithin and all the other fat metabolizing aids. Don't forget about the probiotics and fermented foods as well. And you notice I haven't even said anything about topically addressing dry skin. That's because, this is so important, you guys, and Rose, listen up, dry skin is not a skin issue. You say that again, it's so important because we've got these predator skincare companies run by predator CEOs who have no business in the skin care, being in skincare, selling us skincare products to take care of dry skin when it's not a skincare issue. It's an internal issue. However, topically, if you want some symptomatic relief, you're not going to cure your dry skin topically because dry skin is occurring underneath the surface. It's not occurring at the surface for the most part. Uh, if you want to address dry skin topically, look for topical vitamin C and topical vitamin A in its retinyl palmitate form. That's retinyl palmitate, and that's spelled R-E-T. I-N-Y-L, retinyl, and the second word is palmitate, P-A-L-M-I-T-A-T-E, retinyl, palmitate, also fat-soluble vitamin C. Those are the two most effective topical ways to address dry skin because they actually work underneath the surface, and they will give you some superficial effects on the, on the dead skin on the top. Isn't that ironic that uh, the surface of our skin is covered with dead, uh, dead cells, so-called corneocytes, which are dead cells, and the surface of our skin is lined with these dead cells these dead corneocytes, and for the most part, when 99.99% of us treat our dry skin, what do we do? We put stuff on our dead skin cells. So you go out and you spend $100 for your fancy schmancy moisturizing cream that Cindy Crawford told you to buy, and you end up with soft, dead cells. Congratulations. Does that sound like a good idea? Well, that's what most of us do. So dry skin should be treated as a metabolic chemistry, as all skin care issues need to be treated as a metabolic chemistry issue, focused on digestion. Question number one, focus on protein and fatty uh, intake of fatty nutrients. Number two, make sure you're using the Mighty 90 if you want symptomatic relief. You can always use topical vitamin A in its retinal palmitate form or topical vitamin C in its fatty form as well. Hope that helps you, Rose. Anything else you got for us? Oh, shoot. 
Rose, I hit the button. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I cut Rose off. I, I apologize. Please don't take that person. I just hit the wrong button. All right, moving on. Jim in Michigan, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, my friend? Hey, Ben. First, I'd like to say I've got a 16-year-old son and a 22-year-old daughter who have never seen a medical doctor in their whole life. Nice. Nice. They were raised on Dr. Walsh. First, we had Sherry Menzer, and then we moved on to Tangy Tangerine, which my son takes religiously every day. How long have you been doing the longevity Prize? That's, those are old-timers. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Ever since, uh, well, remember you used to be a guest on Dr. Wallach shows? Back in the 90s? Yeah. Oh, my God. oh wow. That's like going for 20 my, years. Uh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, actually, uh, when my wife started taking... Uh, uh, Dr. Wallach's product, she, that was one of the reasons she got pregnant. <laughs> so, you mean you know, Dr. We, Wallach got your wife pregnant? No, I guess we should rephrase that. Let's just say that a little differently. Yeah. I'm just kidding you, Jim. What's going on, my friend? How can we help? Well, two things. I, I know a young lady, uh, and she's, uh, she has chronic migraines. Uh, she's okay. tried a lot of things. She's tried magnesium, lithium, uh, or, or, or they, I think it's called. Uh, or anyway, what you, yes. You want some ideas for that? I beg your pardon? You want some help with the migraines? They're really... Absolutely. Uh, okay. For her, I'd love to because she's in pain constantly. Okay. Well, first of all, let me say lithium orotate is an amazing nutritional supplement. Doc's been talk, Dr. Wallach's been talking about lithium for a long time. A lot of folks with bipolar issues know about lithium, but you don't need to have bipolar issues or mania or really any mental health problems to benefit from lithium. It's a wonderful mood stabilizer just for average everyday folks. And I take a little bit before I go to bed, and it's a great sleep aid for me anyway. It helps relax me. Chronic migraines need to be regarded as first and foremost some kind of circulatory uh, uh, problem with the circulatory vessels in the brain. Hang tight, Michi- uh, Jim in Michigan. we got to take a break, and we'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. My name is Kay Swirling, and I am in the early part of my 10th decade. I want to discuss the issue of pharmaceuticals versus minerals and vitamin supplements. I remember a discussion between my mother and me. It was at that time that canned vegetables and fruits were introduced into the U.S. market. It was some time before my mother and others felt comfortable with food in cans. That was also the time when drugstores offered for sale cough syrup and aspirins and not much else. Let's fast forward to this decade, the here and now. Simple drugstores are large corporations with the message that they are the ones who have the power to cure human ills. Meanwhile, the battle continues with minerals and vitamins being the answer to human ills. Who will win the battle? I believe and hope it will be the belief in the power of vitamins and minerals over that of the toxic chemicals in prescription drugs. What do you think? So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. 
Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. GCN. Back on the bright side, talking to Jim in Michigan. Are you there, my friend? James? Thanks. Uh, yes, I am. Okay, Thank so you. migraine headaches need to be regarded as a circulatory issue in the brain. Whenever you have circulatory problems, blood vessels opening and closing inappropriately, that's what a, a migraine really is. It's blood vessels in the brain opening inappropriately and then in response closing really tightly. That combination needs to be regarded as the manifestation of an allergic reaction first and foremost. That's the first thing. That can also have something to do with endotoxemia. That means toxins in the blood. And it can also have something to do with the female hormone estrogen. So the main things you want to look at, number one, are foods. And if you can link them up to foods, that's really the best way to do it. Number two, if you can link them up to uh, problems with the digestive system, gas and bloating, something they call small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, that would be another good strategy. And then three, if you can associate them with problems in your friend's menstrual cycle. You did say this was a gal, right? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. She can link it up to problems with her, um, either, either problems with her periods, with her menstrual cycle, PMS, irregular periods, or if the migraines occur in the same, uh, the same part of her cycle every month, all of these are indicative that estrogen may be involved. Estrogen is probably involved no matter what. So what do you do? Well, first of all, look for food imbalances and, or food intolerances. Look for problems with the digestive system. That's the most important thing to do. You know, I say it all the time, but it really is the most important thing you can do. Grain can cause gluten. Uh, sorry, grain can cause migraine, pro, uh, migraine headache problems. Dairy can do it. Any kind of food allergen can do it. If she knows she has digestive problems, if she knows she has food allergies, she's one step ahead of the game. If she doesn't know she has them, look for them. It's in her interest to find them, not to make them up, but to find them if they're there. The second thing she wants to do is start to use nutritional supplements for the digestive system. You know, the people tell you about about riboflavin, and they'll tell you about magnesium, and these can be very helpful for migraines. But uh, unless you have a frank, all-out nutritional deficiency in magnesium or in the B vitamins or riboflavin, which, of course, is possible, you're simply going to get symptomatic relief by using these kinds of nutrients. Not that you don't want the magnesium. You need magnesium. Not that you don't want riboflavin, vitamin B2, and the entire B complex. You need the entire B complex. But you don't want to look at this as an allopathic nutritional kind of treatment. You don't want to say, well, I'm going to give magnesium to treat a migraine, the same way they say I'm going to give a, 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 a serotonin reuptake inhibitor to treat a migraine or a serotonin type of drug to treat a migraine. That's called allopathic nutrition, and that's just as bad, well, not just as bad, but almost as bad as using drugs. What we want to do is we want to get to the cause of our diseases, and you'll always find some kind, as we said before, you're always going to find some kind of stressor that's getting into the circulatory system, that's getting into the body. So look for foods, look for problems with the digestive tract, leaky gut syndrome 
your own pro, uh, problems with um, probiotic, with uh, good bacteria in the gut, and then also uh, look for problems associated with the female menstrual cycle. So you're going to be focusing on food allergies, patching up the digestive system using glutamine, the Z-radical, the Biolumin nightly essence, and then perhaps stabilizing fat absorption and fat metabolism. That's really where you want to be with estrogen and estrogen problems. Uh, stabilizing fat absorption uh, using bio salts, lecithin, essential fatty acids. Vitamin E and vitamin A can help counteract estrogen imbalances also. 20,000 international units of vitamin A and 40,000 